Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today we'll be, we will be talking about the list widget. So let's go ahead and get into it. First we're going to go up to our widget menu and we're going to select list. And then we're going to go to where it says title mapping and we're going to bring in the input that we want to map this to. And the input we're looking for is sunshine skew. So we're going to click on that. And there's only one place in this title where we can put information, and that's under Headline, so we'll also select that. And then we'll position it where we want it. And the next thing I'm going to do, you've seen me do before, I bring in the NDI monitor. And the reason I do this is so that when we activate something in this uh, UTC template uh, that we're making, we'll be able to see what it's doing in the main uh, vMix production. And uh, please go to one of our earlier episodes to find out how to connect um, your vMix UTC to your vMix production, and also how to download the DLL file you need uh, to make the NDI monitor work correctly. So we've done that, and we've selected the main output uh, from our vMix production. And now we're going to go ahead and create a button, and this button is going to display uh, the overlay that we're going to put this information in. And we will entitle this button Show Lower Third. And we're going to go ahead and go to the scripting, and we're going to need to go to some of the overlay functions, and we're going to use the Overlay Input X. And the good thing about this particular function is when we press on the button that we create one time, it's going to activate it, and we pre when we press on the button that we've created a second time, it's going to take it away. So it's kind of a toggle button, and in this situation, it'll work really well for us. So let's again find our input that we want. We're going to put it in our third overlay channel, and we're going to position the button where we want it. And when we click on it, it's going to bring in that lower third, and that is the information that we want to be able to change there where it says headline. So we're going to go up to the list button that we cr uh, created and we're going to populate it manually. And let's see, we're just going to go ahead and title this uh, announcer Tom Smith. And we'll click OK. And then we'll select it from the drop down menu. And let's go ahead and activate it and show it. And that brings in our announcer, Tom Smith. But we can go ahead and add to it on the fly, and that's what we're going to do next. We'll go up and select it, and we'll click that plus button a few times. One, two, three, and let's add a couple more pieces of information. Let's see. Referee, let's see, Jason Abbott, he's one of our referees that we use quite a bit or that we see quite a bit so we'll put him there and then uh, uh, ring announcer Allie she did a stellar job at the last production we did so we'll go ahead and put her in here and we'll click OK and that's how we uh, populate that list button manually So let's go ahead and hit the drop down menu again. We'll go ahead and hit the overlay button. That brings in our referee, Jason Abbott. Click it again, and we'll be able to get rid of it. And then drop down menu again. And this will display ring announcer alley. But you don't have to populate it manually. You can also bring in a list that you've already created, and that's what we're going to do next. But before we do that, let's go ahead and save this small list that we just created. And we click the button uh, that said Save List, and I'll show you this a little more clearly in just a moment. And we're going to entitle this Talent 12 for 2021. And we'll save that, and that way we can come back and use it uh, in the future. And these are the two buttons I was referring to. One, one says Save List, and the other says Load List. And so what we're going to do is we're going to load a list that we created uh, before, and you see how it automatically populates. And then you go to the drop-down menu, and we have a whole new list of information there. We're going to show the overlay 
go back to the drop down list, choose another name, and then another name, and then another name, and so forth. And that's a real easy way to bring in a lot of information that you want to use in a particular uh, lower third. So let's go back to our original one. We're going to open a list, our talent list. I actually load the list is what the command says. Click OK and then go to our drop down menu and there's the information that we manually loaded earlier. So you can see it's very versatile. You can load it manually on the fly or you can bring in a pre-populated list.